past time of their divine love. Always they are for each other in love. And they doing by themselves, they teaching to us to do that. Pain. Oh, Sri Radhika, oh, jewel of clay, loudly. <laughs> oh, Sri Radhika, oh, jewel of clay, when will I see? When will I see you frowning your eyebrows and hearing you saying, No, no, although you are actually very happy. No, no. <laughs> to whom? To Krishna? No, no. Don't touch me. <laughs> Krishna wants to touch Radhika. Says, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Many plays she play. <laughs> Cry for Krishna and deny to Krishna. You see? She is crying for the... In uh, one hour she is feels separation. And when he comes, he says, No, no! <laughs> Very many type of place he plays. And she teach to the... who follow to her, she teach how to do in life how to develop this divine relation with Krishna. What Mahajan say, be conscious. How to be conscious? Without telling, no, you are not conscious. You are not attached. You cannot say no to everyone. You can only say to no who is very close to you. No, no, I don't. Don't touch me, because he is so close, Radhika and Krishna, they are so close. She can say to Krishna, no, don't, go. But from not from inside is also her play. In this no, his positiveness is there. She wants, but she show that she know. No, no. <laughs> it's nothing. Yes, yes. <laughs> God. When will I see you frowning your eyebrows? And here you say... What is frowning? Oh, up, down. Making them down. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Right. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. <clears throat> like this. <laughs> you have to frown. I brought to say no, right? <laughs> I is also talking, you know. <laughs> Face is also talking. And the kinkiris, the manjaris, the servant of Radhika, she is watching this, how my Swami is acting. 
just now, half an hour before, she is telling, where is Krishna? Can you find out to him? And when Krishna came, he said, no, 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 no. <laughs> she is surprising. <laughs> the friends of Radhika, they are surprised. What is happening to her? Her play. Only Krishna can know and the, the friends of Radhika can know. What is reason behind that? In that no. When will I see you frowning your eyebrows and hear you saying, No, no, although you are actually very happy when Krishna, the best of lovers, falls at your feet and begs you for a delicious festival of embraces. When Krishna, the best of lovers, falls at your feet and begs you for a delicious festival of embraces. The commentary to this verse from Radha Rasa Sudhanide is named Sri Radha, the jewel of play. Commentary Sripad Sripad returns to his Siddha Swarup. No, you see, Siddha Swarup means it's not physical body your spiritual soul body. That is Siddha Sarup. <coughs> soul has also one body. Gross body, subtle body and spiritual body. Everybody knows about that. But no, never test this. That is spiritual body can enter to feel this. Now this Prabodhan and Saraswati is in physical body and Sripad, Sripad means Radhika's friend who always live near to the lotus feet of Sri, Sripad. Prabhupad means who always live in the lotus feet of the Lord, Prabhupad and Sripad who always live in lotus feet of Radhika, Sripad. So this Sripad is a friend and kinkari and manjari of Radhika. So she come in her spiritual body to feel that pastime. So we also can enter in that body to feel that pastime, it is divine. So we cannot feel in this body. We have to go in our spiritual body to feel it. Go on. Sripad returns to his Siddhasvaru. The more intense the transcendental vision is... Intense. This vision is so transcendental but intense also. It's a very divine vision what we are going to looking and we're going to deep to see is a very transcendental or intense also. Mm. Uh. The more intense the transcendental vision is, the sweeter it is. Mm. Yeah. There is no way to put such visions into words. Only experienced devotees can understand that. By Srimati's grace, by Radharani's grace, anxious Sripad 
becomes conscious of another sweet pastime. By Srimati's grace, anxious Sripad becomes conscious of another sweet pastime. What does he see? He sees Srimati eagerly hurrying to a kunja in the forest, a forest bower, to meet Krishna. But Krishna has not yet arrived. He has not yet arrived at, the, at that appointed place yet. Just to please Krishna, Radhika begins to decorate the place. She is sure that he will come soon. In the Ujjvala Nilamani by Srila Rupa Goswami, we can read following about the different Naikas, the different uh, lovers. The girl who goes out to meet her lover and who decorates her house or her kunja in the forest and decorates her body before he arrives he is called Vasaka Sajika. She plans to have erotic plays with him, looks down the road for him to come, speaks about nice things with her girlfriends, and constantly looks out for her messenger girls to return. This is Rupa Goswami's description of this Naika, who is eagerly waiting. The poet Vidyapati colorfully describes how <coughs> The poet Vidyapati mm. colorfully describes how Srimati plans the erotic play in the following way. When he comes on my George, I will slightly smile at him. When he enthusiastically grabs me, I will try my best to escape. Mm. When he tries to pull at my bodice, I will push his hands away and look at him in a squinted way. And when he tries to approach me, I will turn my head away and say, no, no. In this way, many hundreds of waves of naughty plants flow in Srimati's heart, which is filled with passionate love for Krishna. Sripad, Sripad in his kinkari form, is engaged in Srimati's service. The jewel of lovers arrives in the kunja and seeing him, Srimati angrily gets up to go back home, chastising her kinkari with her glances. Why did you bring him here? Or why did you bring me here? Quickly take me back home. Attracted to Srimati's sweetness, Krishna pulls at the edge of her sari, but Srimati tugs back and says, Leave it. Don't touch me. I am a chaste housewife. 
Her face is illuminated with a slight sweet smile mixed with feigned anger. How beautiful her sweetness swells up. Krishna, who is the very form of transcendental bliss, become, he becomes obsessed with desire for union with her. All her activities are caused by her Mahabhav. That's why Rasika Shekhar is so enchanted. Rasika Shekhar, Krishna, is so enchanted. Srimad Rupa Goswami has defined a bold lady love as follows in his Ujjvala Nilamani. She is expert in showing strong emotions and she attacks her lover with rasa, with feelings. Sri Jiva Goswami writes in his Lochan Rochani commentary on this verse that rasa Rasa means the flavor of pure selfless love. <coughs> Rasa means the flavor of pure selfless love. Her activities are only meant to please Krishna. Sri Krishna the jewel of lovers is so overwhelmed by the sweetness of Radha's moods that he anxiously falls at her feet and prays to her for just one festival-like embrace. This causes many more Rasika feelings to arise in Srimati's heart. And these moods come out through her beautiful face and her beautiful eyes. Nevertheless, she stubbornly says, no, no and chanting her lover with the sweet movement of her eyebrows. Actually, these gestures, you say gestures? No. Gestures. 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 She says no, no, and chanting her lover with the sweet movement of her eyebrows. Actually, these gestures are only her pretense. Only her pretenses. She would actually feel very happy if Krishna would touch her and enjoy her. Shripad, Shripad as a kinkari knows this and calls her therefore Ranganidhi, an ocean of playfulness. Ranganidhi. Openly Swamini says, no, no, but in her heart, she, she says, yes, yes, there is no no within that no. It is as if, it is as if a yes has swallowed the no. She 
who is worshipping Krishna is named Radhika. No other, no other beautiful girl of Raj can worship and enchant Krishna as sweetly as she can. Therefore, she alone is named Radhika in Raj, nobody else. And therefore, Sripad addresses her in this verse as Sri Radhika. Sri Radhike Nahi Nahiti Gira Shiromani. Then Sripad's transcendental vision stops. And he eagerly prays, Aha! Ha Sri Radhike! When can I see these sweet gestures, gestures of yours? And when can I hear you say no, no to your lover when he starts to embrace you? Yeah. Complete. O oh, Sri Radhika, O oh, Dual of Clay, when will I see you frowning your eyebrows and hear you saying no, no, although you are actually very happy when Krishna, the best of lovers, falls at your feet and begs you for a delicious festival of embraces. Yeah. meditation of today, chanting and meditation. Krishna is begging his Supreme Personality, we beg to him and he begs to Radhika. Why we come to Vrindavan? This whole Vrindavan is a temple of Radhika. Whole world. You will never see any place where Krishna is alone. Where you will go, Mother Mohan, Radha Damodar, Radha Mohan, Radha's Mohan, Radha's Damodar, Radha's Govinda. So he is begging. I think the feet of Radhika and begging, give me one chance to hug you. And she said, no, 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 touch my feet, don't ask. This is the sweetness of Krishna. And how Krishna becomes so sweet? Because the influence of Radhika, love of Radhika makes him sweet. So he is the Supreme Prasad. So he forget his chair of supremeness. That is the, his beauty, that is the great thing. When I forget 
that how big I, how rich I am, and I become very simple person. That is a real rich. So that he forget when he see Radhika, he don't want to go out from Vrindavan. He never go out from Vrindavan. Who goes out is Narayan Krishna, not Brajendra. Rajendra Nandan never go out from Vrindavan. Ask from any Brajavas, right or not? Yes, right. <laughs> they deny to accept this, that Krishna is going out in Kurukshetra fighting. No, my Rajendra Nandan never go out from Vrindavan. And I can say you, he not go out. You will agree. I give you example. When Devki give birth, it was Devki Nanda. Right? He has come with four hands. And when he come with the four hand, <coughs> then Vasudev took on the what you say? Basket. Basket. Ah, basket. And enter in the Jamna. Jamna come up, 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 up. And he say that touch the feet of Krishna and Krishna. So Krishna not touch the feet, he merge in the Krishna, Jamna. Narayan Krishna. And all the past time is happened by Brajendra Nandan in Vrindavan. It's Jashoda Nandan. You see, Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Gopi Janavallava Girvardhari. This Gopi Janavallava is a part of the Gopal Mantra. So one first part and second part, who is following Radha Dasyam, they think for Gopi Janavallava. Prabhupada clearly say we have to follow Gopi Janavallava. This is our life. Gopi Janavallava Girvatari, this Krishna Viva, who the dear of the gopis. And more specific, no Devki Nandan, Jasoda Nandan. He said Jasoda Nandan Brajijan Ranjan. So now when a crew come to bring out to Brinda from to Dwarka, Matra, Matra, for the his mama, Kansa, meeting. <coughs> that time also this Brajendranandan Nandan said, okay, I am going to Jamna to take part. And that time this Narayan Krishna went out and the Brajandandan Krishna stay in the Jamna and they play rasa, all rasa, all the time. Till now it's happened. It's not happened something past. It's happening Nityanila. It's happening now. It's not happened 5,000 years back. No is still going on and they are looking this now. Every time is happening because Brajanandan never go out from the Vrindavan. <coughs> this past time is happening. Understand? Baba. We can't. 
he says this is right and you surprise in Srimad Bhagavat when Akrura come that after that they don't listen Srimad Bhagavat Rasik Bhakta they will go out from the room they will not stay there <laughs> If you want, you can see in Radha. You can see in Vrindavan they can do this. Who has the realization of Brajanda Nandan, they will never sit there. They cannot listen that Krishna is going out from the Vrindavan. They always want to be the servant of Radhika, friend of Radhika, and they want to relish this sweet pastime all the time. Nithai. Any question? Dead. One more kirtan. You also sing? Sing. You pray. Say, but we do this every year. We do two things. Yeah. One is Deepavali party, buffet party. Yeah. Chart. All chart we prepare. And it's a really unique for <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> so everybody comes that way. I will request all you come and share, meet. Everybody will be there, so enjoy. And the, in Deepavali, in a whole casting, it is very important to put the lamps in the temple. Yes. So that day, how much you want to put, you can do that also. <laughs> yes. A lamp, candle will be there. And then some kirtan program. One would Drupad also wants to come. If you say, I can invite. He is also very nice person who is master in Drupad. They have tradition. I can organize that program. You, everyone, welcome. Maybe Gina Sala will come. She is coming. I don't know. Coming? I think so. I say about you that you are there. Oh. You have to come. Mr. Mishita is coming. She is in Rishikesh. David Maharaj would like you to play on the water. Beautiful. Where do you live? Sunday. Huh? Sunday. Yes. Next Sunday. Okay. Wow. But you, America, where you live? San Francisco. Wow. All you keep, you are keeping that side. <laughs> <laughs> Not the old side. Yeah. Shyamdas was gone. We bring him to the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say that you have to come for the Anda Ashram program. Yeah. What do you say yeah. about Europe? Got so, okay. so I will, I will fly from Europe for that. The invitation is okay. It's true, huh? 
July 8th. <coughs> we haven't made official announcement. Yes. It will be good. Anand Ashram is a good place. Yeah. It's the sister ashram of the one in San Francisco. Huh? It's the sister ashram of the one I go to in San Francisco. The one that I'm pardon. That's where Prabhupada first came when he first came to America. Dr. Mishra. The Monroe one? Yeah, no, but he, Dr. Mishra let him stay in his apartment this, in New York oh, City. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? This is, yeah, that. very nice. Yeah, but He was the only one that offered Prabhupada a place to stay in a small That's little amazing. room. That's amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. No windows in a small little room. Five. Big ashram. They invite all this to me. They have hall also, not big but nice. We have outside this <laughs> outside. And my request take prasad here. <laughs> She's also from Sweden. Okay. Mm. You know? They know each other from a long time ago. From Finland, yeah. yeah she's from Finland. In Finland. Yeah. But she's staying on since Sweden. Mm -hmm. She's staying with me now for the whole party. She's staying with me rather than the whole party. I go to Estonia, so I know that area. Norway, Finland, Sweden. I was in Sweden. Yes, three years ago, three and a half years ago, you were in Sweden. One day. She will stay one night here. You like to listen to one Hindi bhajan? Shamli? Can you sing one Hindi bhajan? Come. She is from Switzerland. This Malu is only possible here. And he give you the test by his behaving, his mercy, you have to accept it. I feel mercy. So this mercy is working inside me to increase this mallow. And it cannot become with material consciousness, without association, without of the association of the lover, Rasik Bhakta, who is in love, he can give you love. This love goes like this. Philosopher or priest can give you philosophy or ritual, but the Rasik, who is a rasa inside, they can give you that man. It's nothing different. It's all divine relation. Love is the divine connection. You can do the material and you can do the spiritual. You are free for that. Because Jiva is a marginal potency. He can do the material thing also and he can do the spiritual thing. That is business of the individual. <coughs> so, <coughs> Vrindavan is a place of not Krishna. He is, he is begging for the love. 
is a beggar, is a place of Radhika, and she is the queen. She is the Swami, Swamini of Vrindavan. Whole Vrindavan is a temple of love, Radha's place. Everyone has to come. Prabhupada said, right? Because this Vrindavan, if you are little interested to how to develop divine love, you have to come. No other way. You see, the VIP of America, so the Shyamdas, you know, Sharon, they are also in her age, they are rolling like anything in dust of Vrindavan. Ask from them. In, in the age of twenty or what? I came at nineteen. Nineteen. All they come. Nineteen. They roll in this Vrindavan. Ra Radhana Swami. They roll like Nobody knows him. And now you see Radhana so you see him. You see Shamdas, now he's not more, but you he's so famous, so loving. He was more than me knowing Hindi. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> So many books he write. <coughs> yoga, yoga Mukti, na? Sharon? Jeevan Mukti. Uh, Jeevan Mukti. Uh, always I see him. Jeevan Mukti. Jeeva Mukti. Famous. But so simple because of devotion. She's so simple. It's all they are in Vrindavan in the very young age, eighteen, nineteen. They meet with Neem Karoli Baba. They meet. They was rolling in the Govardhan, coming and darshan, doing everything, and they got the realization. <laughs> Here you eat, sleep, and live. But give some time in Vrindavan, realization will automatically come. Huh? How you can do so powerful, five thousand people gathering in one place? Is it possible? For normal person is not possible. If he is not abnormal or some city perfection is not there. Sleeping, eating, toilet, all arrangement of five thousand people is not a joke. Parking in America, so many things to do. You cannot imagine. Everybody needs one bed. I want ten to live. Nobody is going to sleep like this in like India. <laughs> but you do. So you are staying in MBT? MBT? Where? MBT. MBT, yeah. Good place. Nice place. Yeah. MBT has a sasangata. 
पाँच बजे धनानंद महाराज का धनानंद महाराज का सत्संग होता है और वो बैक साइड राधे राधे बाबा हाउ आर यू गुड गुड भाई So your sons are very good. They will stay some time more in Radhakur. Two weeks. You are you are doing job or what? Uh, yes, Maharaj. I'm working in a bank, Malaysia. I'm working in a bank. What for? You doing my own business. Support to your mother <laughs> and try to keep her in Radhakur. Yes. हर भजन में हर पियो I was in Brazil and I went to the house of the nun. She was 60 years living in a monastery and serving her. So, and she was vegetarian. So, Cassius Jesus, I don't forget, I went. She arranged very nice, vegetarian, everything, Akka. surprise, golden plate, golden <laughs> spoon, all like this, with full of love, surprising. After that, I got one realization of Jesus, because she was devotee of Jesus. One picture was there in the big hall, drawing room. Uh, after Prasad I sit and then in the front there was picture of Jesus pointing. I said, what you want to teach us by this way? He, he come out from the picture, my dear. I ask and he come out. He said, my son, Two things. One, you know yourself that you are so. Two things on. And one know the Savior, the Creator of us. Two things you have. To know. And when you fix to in this and that, you all set. And that you need little help for doing this. Good circumstances, good friends. Only this good. I was thinking that I'm dreaming or what happened. So I start questioning. <laughs> that is, I'm in dream or what? But it was I'm sitting. <laughs> And I'm crying. When I realize this, I my tears like a, I cannot control myself. 
and same moment she got this lady. And then she said, what happened to me? I said, this happened. She start kissing my face. I don't know hundred or what. I am also unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> And only one thing she said, you got it, you got it, you got it. And she started kissing. I was sannyasi, I forget. <laughs> I read clothes, I, 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 I was out. <laughs> New sannyasi, more problem. <laughs> Old can do mistake, but here new. I, <laughs> I, and only she say, you got it, you got the bus. And really it become easy after that. By philosophy I cannot understand, by this picture I understand, I got it. Only she say, you got it. And really this to understand. If you, this picture is clear in your mind, everything will be clear. You identify this soul what you like, but you have to fix. If you need mallow, you have to fix mother, friend or lover. Or you become son, you become father, any relation you make it and it will work. This is the teaching of the Vedic philosophy and this is the teaching of what you say. I say Vedic philosophy, Bhakti philosophy. Jesus also brings Bhakti. <coughs> that interpretation becomes ulta puta. That is different <laughs> thing. But is also Rasik, loving. Why New Testament? Why necessary of New Testament? New Testament is a love philosophy, love teaching. That is Bhakti. Love in action. Love when is action. One American love, I love you. I love you. I see my husband, my son and my his wife is Spanish. I say, I love you, I love you. I say, but action is not there. <laughs> you you cook for yourself and she cook for yourself. Action is not there. How you love, I don't know. <laughs> love is when in action that is Bhakti. <coughs> Wife cook for herself and and my son cook for himself. I said, what action is this? You have to cook for your wife or she has to cook for yourself. You become totally American. It's not a bhakti. It's not devotion <coughs> for each other. And if you want to divorce in America, you don't say I love you. In seven, fifteen days, divorce is fixed. <laughs> right or not? Only talking, no, action. You have to be in action. I love means no need to say, you have to do it. That is devotion. Sorry. My son has become American, so I see when I go what they do. And my elder Raja, you will see a no nice boy, very smart guy, but his wife left him because he don't say one week, I love you. <laughs> he said bye-bye. So, Raja. Indian foolish guy. <laughs> But I say this is the thing, devotion is a love in action, not talking that I love you. Hmm? 
means you don't love, so you show that I love you. Love means no need to say. Where Jesus said that I love you to anyone, he act in love because he was devoted with his father. It's all action with the family, his whole family because his father and his all creation is his brother, sister. So he was in action with that. What he do, he do the natural. It's not pressure. He no feel pressure for doing. So I, this happened, and really it was very good for me, for my ex realizations. After that, I, he said, "Come, come, I show you." After evening time, so he bring. So one table I see Jesus and Krishna in one picture. I said, when you love Jesus, why you keep Krishna? Are she said, Are what you said? If you love son, you don't hate to father. <laughs> I was shocked. He said, Are what you say in in uh, Brazilian language something is uh, very shocking. I said, why you keep picture of Jesus, Krishna? <coughs> why you keep picture of Krishna if you have a Jesus? He said, Are, what you say? I translate him. I don't know that word, I forget. If you love son, you hate father. And if you hate, if you love father, you will hate son. They are, they are like this. So I keep, I like both of them. This is relation. She is teaching to me, you see. <laughs> Still I remember her and I share this. Religion has a problem. Divine relation has never problem. It's beyond relation. Pancham Pursat, this is the fifth effort. When you move in the relationship, dharma, artha, kama, moksha, four effort we try to do. But fifth effort is prema Pursat, loving relation, loving family. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, Rule, Regulation. You, this is my rule, you follow. This is my rule, this is my rule. I have to follow this, you have to follow this. Your rule is wrong, my rule, rule is right. Like this you can discuss on that. But Pancham Pursat is only one way. There is no many way. Understand? Only one way is the mother way, one is the friend way, one is the lover way, one is the son way to father. Only this is the way. Bring here. This is Karuna Prem. Oh, very good boy. <laughs> <laughs> they are the, they are Karna Karna May and Karna Mohan. This Prem Prashad they organize my morning evening program, they organize all. 
morning, <laughs> evening, inside, outside, everything. <laughs> <laughs> you see Gopinath, sir? Yes. Beautiful. So tiny. Yeah. Coming this year or not? In the winter she will not come. She will come, she will travel with you next summer. Okay. Because she felt she only can come for two weeks and we also have the train for Shad Seva. So she prefers to stay there. Right. Okay. They want to talk with you. Japanese group about the Prem Prasad, they want to learn something. Yes, she is Karnamai, Karnamai. You will sit now, John. Love to son, you have to love to <laughs> And if you love to father, you have to love to son. Right or not? <laughs> He's very natural. He's not unnatural. If you don't do, it's unnatural. <laughs> Understand? Means you, you say that you love, but you have, your love is not there. It's nature. Nature of love. You not love, you love because of him whole his family. Father, sure. <laughs> right or not? <laughs> and how I love him? Because I love his father, so I love his son also. <laughs> <laughs> Both ways can work. Same. 
very happy. He will make you happy. Never cry, never never ask about mommy and papa. <laughs> Go and take prasad. <laughs> 